Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's already really late, so I have a lot that I need to get done real quick. Also apologies, it's humid out, it was cold inside, my camera's now foggy, and I look like a ghost. But in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is I need to finish up my electric fence, making this little box and insulating all my wires, so that way they don't zap me or my family or my dog. And then hopefully we can get some of the juvenile terrapins that I have inside in my 75 gallon little mini indoor pond into the mini pond out there. All right, turtle nerds, so I finished up my electric fence. I'll show you guys that in a moment, but I also put a net over the mini pond and put something so they can't escape from like just following that little mini stream. So now I think it's finally time that we take these juvenile terrapins from the indoor mini pond outside. Let's clean out their filter, tear down the old enclosure before we put them in the mini pond. This thing is gonna be nasty, I could tell. Oh yeah, that's icky. Icky nasty. This thing needs a really, really deep cleaning. I'll be back when that's done. Please excuse how I have things kind of thrown here. I need to pull out that heater, pull out those little like blocks and things, turn off the heat lamp, take my piece of wood clamp rigged up, terrible system. Take out all of these fish. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all, but I need to take them out and drain this whole thing. Finally, I'm draining the swamp and taking this thing outside for good. No more mini pond in my room. All right, folks, we are, oh wait, I still have to move out that cinder block. After I move out that cinder block, we have a pump. We have this rigged up. This is my connection over this in case it leaks, which would be bad. And then into the bathtub so we can drain. Do I need a what? Hey, you need a, you need a hook like on the back of your door for like a towel or something? No. Okay. Or your underwear? All right, time to drain the swamp. My, my camera died, so we're wired up right now, and this is as far as I can take you guys, unfortunately, but all the fish are out. I am ready to move this friggin' tub out of here. No more indoor mini pond. Somewhere out there. All right, so the mini pond is all done and is no longer, so let's go get those juveniles out into the mini pond. And this is why we're taking them outside. Oh my God, stop! All right, let's switch to the GoPro so that way we can follow these guys going in the mini pond. Look at how beautiful they look though in the natural sunlight. They are incredible. Uncle, do you mind, buddy? All right, into the GoPro we go. All righty, folks, let's just get my other camera situated. Give me a moment. All right, now let's do this. We could try grid first. Buddy, there we go. Dragon fruit, do you mind? No. Blondie here. Dragon fruit, seriously, now I missed it. Okay, waffle. There we go. And blueberry, my personal favorite. Come on, buddy. So I put up this net, that way the other terrapins cannot get in. We see one trying to enter, Urkel trying to enter, they cannot get in. There goes little blueberry there because I want these guys to get all the food that they can and I don't want, mainly I don't want dragon fruit getting in and messing with them. She's a monster and one misbite or nip that she didn't mean can really like 
ruin their day. So that is not what I want. So I want to see how these guys interact and hopefully can figure out that the mini pond is no longer an option for adult terrapins. Oh, shoot. Is he getting his foot stuck? I just tossed some food in the mini pond because I'm going to be feeding these juveniles more heavily than I'm feeding the adults, but the adults are going to try busting into there. So I just want to make sure that these guys can climb around the mini pond and over this net and they can learn that that's no longer a feasible option for them and not get stuck or anything bad happen because I that's just the last thing that I need right now. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You can't tell me this is not ridiculous. The, the, like the lengths that they are going to for a single freaking pellet. And then she's still getting them. They still manage to get them because they weigh the net down and they manage to get the freaking pellet. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do about this, or hopefully they just learn to not even bother over here, but like, uh, look, there's Pancake trying to get in, Dragon Fruit's trying to get in, and Flipper trying to get in. I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest, because I don't want them on this at all. They're food driven to a fault. They are truly Italian little turtles. A day later, I figured out, because Dragon Fruit and Flipper literally went in this mini pond maybe 14 to 20 times, and so I don't want them in such close quarters so I just took the net and propped it up if the babies climb out so be it and they did it seems overnight there are none in here I haven't seen them all day which of course worries me a little bit but I assume that they're gonna be hiding because of course they need to adapt to this much larger ecosystem they're super food motivated though so once I feed them I should start seeing some faces and I can always watch them from my camera so I'm not too worried about this yeah and they should be fine I mean I'd rather them in a large space with larger terrapin than in a closed space where a larger terrapin might get in and then cause problems. And there really shouldn't be any problems. I keep everyone very well fed despite them begging all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll get more footage of these little buggers tomorrow and I'll see y'all in the next one.